you might be able to hear the sound of uh, the swing that my son is in. He's in here. Here, you can meet Jasper. Hi, Jasper. You're looking good. You eat that fist. Ha. <laughs> Welcome back to Dear Teen Diary. I'm Greta. That was my son. He's two months and a few weeks. <clears throat> What's the date? February 12th, 2002. My husband was going to join us, but he was hungry. So we'll see if he explodes in and joins the entry or not. Dear Gregory, last Sunday at Alive. Alive is the Alive service for the St. Andrew's Church I started going to. It was, I think... Friday night or Saturday night and it was like a lot more teen driven with rock and roll music and stuff and a younger hipper pastor so at Alive Ben was looking away worse than me when he dumped me oh okay <laughs> I understand what I'm trying to say Ben was looking away worse than me when he dumped me so he like wasn't looking at me you know and back when he had dumped me, I wasn't looking at him. But he's looking away even harder. Katie, Jackie, Katie's friend, and that one guy who thinks, who I think loves Katie and Ben. I don't know who that one guy is, but apparently I think he loves Katie and Ben. Oh, the guy I think who loves Katie and Ben. <laughs> This is the importance of sentence structure and punctuation. It's confusing. You can say, and be Ben, and the guy that I think loves Katie. We're all sitting in a row. Katie, Katie's friend Jackie, some guy that likes Katie, and Ben. We're all sitting in a row. And Ben was like hanging his head. First thought, he's really upset because he really did really like Katie. Uh, I guess she must have asked him out and gotten turned down. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, next thought, maybe he's upset because he likes me again. And he knows he's screwed up. Third thought, family problems? Okay, so Jackie leaves with Ben. Later, Katie checks and says, Ben is crying. I feel like I'm going to die. Him, this one lady pastor, and Jackie are all talking. Katie has more news now. I know that last time Ben's dad, who doesn't live with him, lost his job, they... He's here. With his snacks. Hi. <laughs> it's a long entry. So. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's not helpful. You're helpful. What's going on is we're all at church. There's a lot of people. Ben's not looking at me, hanging his head. What's going on with Ben? <gasps> maybe he's really sad because Katie turned him down because he asked out my girlfriend. Uh, maybe he's really sad because he realizes he wants me back and that he was a dick and he's like oh, fucked. Yeah. Um, next thought is on like family problems and then Katie goes out to check because he leaves and is talking to like a pastor and some other chick and he's like crying. And we're like, why is he crying? And last time Ben's dad, who doesn't live with him, lost his job. He tried to kill himself. And it turns out last Friday he lost his job again. His and dad tried to kill himself or Ben tried to kill himself? His, his dad. Okay. So now Ben's really worried that his dad is going to try to kill himself again. Or do actually do it. And I'm saying, oh my God, I want to go up to him and hug him and make it all better for him. And have him cry into my shoulder and tell me everything. Then I, <laughs> I wanted to make it all go away for him. All his troubles disappear because that's the instinct I have towards people I love. So, of course, I can't. Would you like to pick up from there or would you like to continue to laugh at me as I read? Oh, I can read from there. Okay. Right here. <sighs> Don't do the bad dramatic voice. I battled with myself to make myself not hug him. I did at the end of it, all before we went to a to small group. Uh, I did at the end of it all before we went to small group, but he didn't hug back. He was kind of back to normal by then. Monday, I 
wrote? Uh, Gemma. Gemma. <laughs> I wrote Gemma a note in home base explaining all that and how I wished I could just be his friend and how I wished he could look at me and be able to smile and so on. Then at the end, how much I hated I spaz over everything. And then today, he all like was walking with me and being normal. There's confused a, face with question mark. There's a confused mark. face. And, I'll and, show it to him. Okay. This sentence is half a page. Oh. Carl. <laughs> so I was just like, er. Uh, huh? Er, hey, and that's his last name. Uh. Er, hey, and that's his last name. <laughs> And then, when school was out, I went to my locker, and Ben came by and just hit my backpack as he went by in a nice-slash-mean wad-slash-good-thing-playful tease. And then, at about 8 p.m., I'd say, my phone rang. I was expecting... Brandon, or something. And so I pick up the phone, and I'm kind of out of it because I have loud Japanese music playing. I, listening, I listen to a lot of J-pop. I believe this. Yeah. A lot of them were, like, illegally downloaded opening theme songs to animes that I watched. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go. Uh, no, like, One of them actually starts, like, hey, hey, let's go. Yeah, I know. Okay. That wasn't that wasn't out back then. It was oh. like Magic Knight Ray Earth and like Record of Lotus War and uh, Name Drop Dragon Half Name Drop. So cool. I'm so cool, guys. I was into A pop when it still wasn't popular. J pop. J pop. Sorry. Ah, I was thinking of Akon. It was an anime punch. convention. Um, <clears throat> I have the loud Japanese music playing, and I was computer graphicing a picture. And it takes me a couple seconds to realize it's It's Ben. It's Ben. It's Ben. My heart was flipping out. Uh oh, I can go okay. Ben has called me, you guys. He's calling me. He wasn't even looking at me and all of a sudden he's calling me. What's going on? I don't remember this happening. Oh my god. My heart was flipping out i was so scared but i don't know i had to fight or flight i had the flight or fight adrenaline rush uh so it took me a bit to calm down then i dragged it out of him Gemma let him read the note then a bit later i asked why he'd only just called after he'd read the note he said he felt bad and so I was like, oh, I get it. A pity call? A pity call. I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, I get it. A pity call? Sarcastically. Oh. I'm trying to read two exclamation points sarcastically. I think I was like, oh, oh I get it. A pity call. Oh, I get it. A pity call. Sarcastically. But in a nice way. Yeah. I'm giving him shit. <laughs> I'm giving him shit. Two exclamation points sarcastically nicely. Yes. That's exactly how I did it. Oh, I get it. A pity call. <laughs> um, well, I was trying to do updates. No updates. I'm filming. No updates now. Sarcastically, but in a nice way. So he's still grounded. And after his IS. 15. 15 oh. or 20 minutes. He was allowed on the phone. So he's still grounded. And after his 15 or 20 minutes is up, he says he's got to go. So I get off the phone and I'm all giddy. But I keep... Don't be giddy, Greta. It's a pity call. But I keep saying to myself, don't do this to yourself. It won't last. It was just a pity day. Yes. He's just trying to make himself feel better. He doesn't actually like you enough to want to be your friend. It doesn't mean anything. (laughs) But I can't help it. I know I'm setting myself up for a huge, painful 
fall. But I can't not trust them. No, don't say his last name. Mr. A. Last name. Okay, some of the, some of the names are, like, the same. I know. What are you di- no, it's Ben A. And I don't put last names in. Oh, okay. And Ben and Katie appeared before I realized I should change the names of people who I get precariously involved with. Got it. So anyone that I get precariously involved with in the future has a, a new change name. Or that, like, if I say what they are doing with, like, a friend. If I'm like, OMG, this person, that I, person, totally fucked. Yeah. I'm explaining it for them. Too. Oh, for them. I get it. Jeez. thought you were explaining it to me. No. I'm like, I'm in around. I watch the series. Oh, I no, know. No, this could be your first episode. And if. It is. You should subscribe. And you should. you should start this from the playlist. I have a playlist of all the ninth grade entries. It's a nice you playlist. You can watch it from, like, the beginning of the school year to now. To now. So it's February now. In here. <laughs> and maybe it, we have, like, a 1 in 12 shot that it's February when they're watching it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, but I can't help it. I know I'm setting myself up for a huge, painful fall, but I can't not trust Mr. A. I just pray. I know it's the wrong pray. I pray. Is, is it the wrong one? It, yeah. No, no. I know it. It's not. Oh, shut up! Shut up! I pray that his father will be okay, and that today he was being more sin sincere than he seemed. I know I'll look back on these entries and scoff. And think that I was such a spaz. But I already know I am. I also regret that the... uh, I also regret that the Tom saga will make this seem less sincere. But with Tom, yeah, I liked him a lot. But there wasn't enough time for this same kind of bond to form. Plus that one day at my house with Ben. When he touched my vagina. <laughs> just before Christmas. Wasn't just lust, horny crap. It was beautiful. For, it was, for me, special. And I'll never regret it. Unless he was using me for just that, or something like that. I'm still deeply in love with Ben. But I don't want to be. No! And I do want to just be his friend. <laughs> if anything, I pray. <laughs> that this is just short-term infatuation and also this day won't have been a pity day but the first of many days with my best friend back oh please lord let me have my best friend back heart Greta, february 12th 2002 well i'm gonna get jasper while he's jasping okay it prays. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go snack. Oh, you don't have any thoughts on it? On any whether thoughts? or not, whether or not it's oh, the pity day, Carl. No, I don't. I don't know. Um, his dad. I'm concerned about my best friend. I want him back. I mean, he's probably just as wrapped up in his own life as you are in yours. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking maybe it's just. I, I don't think it's a Gemma show. I don't think it's notes. as much about you for him as it is about him for him, and so maybe he's. He's like, I don't want to be an asshole. I don't think it was necessarily a pity thing so much as a, yeah, I'll give this a shot. See if maybe we can be friends. Maybe I can touch her vagina again later. We'll see. We'll see. You can just cut that out. Just be like, nah, you'll never know what she said. Well, I mean, in other entries, I've been like, yeah, that's the end of him. He's gone. He's done. We're done. Apparently, we're not done. (laughs) What about you? When you were a boyfriend, did you ever try to stay friends with an ex? Back in the day, back in the high school days. I... You dated girls forever. I did. I had lots of long-term relationships and lots of very, very short relationships. So it, it was basically... But you did get back together with one out of pity at some point, right? There was someone. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, that was that was not a good decision. Uh, let pro tip: if I could go back and talk to myself at a younger age, it is the sooner you break. Ugh, let me. Ah. It is the sooner you break things off with someone. Like the earlier you know that you're done, the more likely you are to be friends with that person. Yeah. If you break up, because the worst thing you could do for yourself and for other people is to just stay in that relationship when you know it's done. 
because they feel that. Yeah, resentment builds quickly. Yeah, it becomes bad. It becomes real toxic. And it just, not only do you start to resent the person more, but they start to resent you more because they can feel that you're not there. So when you know you're done... Just be done. End it. Just be done. Did Don't... you ever dump someone because they were unpopular and you were getting teased? Or not date someone because they were unpopular? Um, you would have otherwise dated. I got teased a lot for dating this girl, Rosemary. Um, but I was also moving pretty soon. And it was like relentless teasing. It was really bad. But I still stayed with her. Uh, and this was like seventh grade. And because I'm a good boy, all we did was like tongue kiss a little bit. And that was it. Well, seventh grade, I didn't tongue kiss till eighth grade. Then I'm a bad boy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, this was sixth grade. And there were no tongue kisses, now that I remember. It was just like... I don't believe you. I think there were tongue kisses in sixth grade. Sultry. Whoa. Whoa. But no, so she was super unpopular. I got a lot of flack for it. But I was also unpopular, which is really weird that they're going to, like, give me flack for dating someone in my, so like, circle. But my friend Devin, Rep look him up. Tell him. that Devin R. Devin R. Pet Devin R started dating her after me. So, okay, Rosemary and I wound up breaking up because, you know, sixth grade, things didn't work. Not, um, you didn't dump her because you... Uh, I didn't dump her, no. I think she broke up with me. To um, date Devin To R. date Devin R. <gasps> yes. Yes. So she broke up with me, dated him. He was super popular, though. And he was my friend, which was kind of weird because I was still unpopular. Well, you were really short, too, right? I was really short, yeah. Um, He's hungry, I think. <laughs> Um, so almost, yeah almost done. she broke up with me started dating him and then she became super popular and, was, and then like totally ignored me and like I like, guess like pretended we didn't date it was kind of the worst uh, so don't do that either so if you know you're done like don't just write people off that's mean that is mean not Can't that I me. still remember 20, 17 oh. years later oh you still remember <laughs> Um, okay. So yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. It actually helps the channel a lot. And uh, yeah, have a, have a great day.